Good morning. It is Wednesday, May 15, 2024. This is the morning edition of news. I'm DeAndre Hamilton, another magnetic media production, and we get started right after this. You can always find what you're looking for and what you need at Quality Food World. Shop retail, shop wholesale. Quality has the brands you know, the brands you love. Always quality. Big savings every day. And remember to look out for sales for even bigger savings. Open 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Mondays through Saturdays. Open 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Sundays. On the Five Keys Access Road. Quality Food Road. A prime trading company. You would have heard our report. Another American has been detained after being in contravention of the Turks and Caicos firearms law when two bullets were allegedly found in her baggage upon departure on Monday. Now residents are wondering how these travelers keep getting into the islands and past TSA. Based on their website, the Transportation Security Administration says guns and ammunition must be declared unloaded, packaged properly in a locked case and in a checked bag in order to pass the scrutiny of the TSA. But that's not happening. While the matters caught by TCI law enforcement involving American passengers are only unregistered ammunition, no guns, the TSA's own rules say the violator would be held and fined for guns and ammo. At least one of the recent firearms court cases has led to an investigation being opened into the airport defendant Ryan Watson flew out of, according to reports. The American woman arrested on Monday for ammunition was caught in a routine security check, confirmed TCI police. A new national health sector strategic plan has been launched in the Turks and Caicos to guide how money is allocated in order to increase efficiency in health care and increase health equity. All are issues residents have been highlighting for years. Desiree Lewis, permanent secretary for the Ministry of Health, spoke at that May 14th launch. The document identifies and prioritizes health, key health issues and challenges facing the population, allowing resources to be allocated efficiently to address such priorities. With six strategic directions, the plan is also supposed to promote collaboration between the various stakeholders in the health industry, including policymakers, legislators, doctors, and other healthcare professionals on the ground, making healthcare more effective across the board to the benefit of residents. You're listening to the news that matters most Magnetic Media. Moving money from one site to the next? Lots of cash transactions make you vulnerable? Need eyes on your investments no matter where you are? Are you looking for professional security escorts for your high net worth guests? Want to support Neighborhood Watch with skill patrols? Sounds like you need security solutions at Spence Security Services. Established in the Turks and Caicos since 1998. Get armored truck escort services from $150 and contact Spence Security for free free consultation dependable professional service you can trust that's spent security contact spent security and investigation services at 649-946-4730 visit number seven caribbean place in providentiales or online at spentsecurity.tc Sergeant Huntley Forbes Jr. and the rest of the community policing team of the Royal TCI Police Force brought smiles to mothers this past Friday as they visited and serenaded employees and customers at different government agencies, including the Department of Motor Vehicles. of the police team there. We are told it was a great prelude to Mother's Day. Last week, there were several matters before the TCI Magistrates Court, including that of 20-year-old Watson Ludor of Bay Road, Blue Hills, who pled guilty to possession of a controlled drug. He was granted bail, and his matter was adjourned to June 11th this year. Additionally, Immigration Officer R. Cartwright brought 36-year-old Mousselin Medesier before the court for possession of a fake certificate. He pled guilty, and the matter was transferred to the Grand Turk Magistrates Court. He will re appear before resident magistrate Patricia Arana this Wednesday, May 15th. The public prosecutor handling all of the matters listed last Monday was Angelique Dickerson. 
After a period of acting in the position, Patricia Arana has been officially appointed resident magistrate of the Grand Turk Magistrates Court. The Belize native was sworn in on Monday, May 13th, after joining the judiciary as registrar of the Magistrates Court back in April 2022. Magnetic Media, the power of attraction. Flow Road to Home is life made simple. One affordable plan that gives you internet at home and mobile on the go. Constant connection anywhere and everywhere, wherever your plans may take you. Switch today and get double the data on your mobile with 80 gigs, plus unlimited WhatsApp and YouTube, and 100 megabytes per second internet speed. Flow Road to Home Internet and Mobile Plan, your nonstop connection. Several assault cases were before the courts last week, including that of 24-year-old Mario James Taylor, who was charged with assault occasioning actual bodily harm. The Five Keys man had his bail extended to Friday, May 10th, for mention. Beach vendor Darley Francois, whose bail was extended to May 15th, also appeared for the offense of common assault. Police Constable T. Stewart charged the 27-year-old of Blue Hills Providenciales. He pled not guilty. Also appearing from custody is 38-year-old Final Valcour for the offenses of obstruction and unlawful entry. He did not plea. The case was transferred to Ms. Patricia Arana for mention on Monday. In local weather, a few clouds early, otherwise mostly sunny with a high at 85 degrees. The UV index extreme today. Tonight, a few clouds from time to time with the low at 79 degrees. The rain chance at 7%. That does it for the morning edition of the news. We're back at midday with more TCI Top Stories. Thank you for joining us.